Liquor sales in several Ohio counties have been restricted to Ohio residents only. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announced the order today. News 9's Gage Golding is joining us live now with more details. Gage. Good evening, Kate. Thank you. It's something that residents in the Steubenville area have been concerned about long lines at the liquor store. We first saw changes in Brook and Hancock counties in West Virginia as they began limiting alcohol sales to out of state residents. Now, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine doing much of the same. Thank you for calling convenient. May I help you? Phones at the convenient food mart at Sunset and Lovers Lane in Steubenville have been ringing off the hook. Yes, my gosh, at least 100 a day. Or more. Workers say many of the callers are from Pennsylvania asking if they're selling liquor. Mostly they're coming in to see if we have the liquor and then I'll send them to Kroger's. Christmas time, this is like a New Year's Eve. Um, it's just, you know, as much wine as we're selling in beer. The increased business has created long lines. Unbelievable. The amount of alcohol people are buying, um, a normal person doesn't buy. Uh, two, three buggy full of alcohol. Residents aren't the only ones raising their eyebrows. Monday during a coronavirus news conference, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine issued an order that would restrict the sale of liquor to Ohio residents only in six counties, including Jefferson, Belmont, and Columbiana. This is necessary because we've had re repeated, uh, I've received repeated complaints uh, from chiefs of police, uh, from others from that part of the state about the situation with folks coming in from Pennsylvania, coming into those counties. I think it saved many lives. I think he made a wise decision. Steubenville city officials on board with the idea. City manager James Mavermatis saying they plan on enforcing the governor's order. Well, they'd be cited is what it would be, and, and they have a good chance of losing their alcohol license. DeWine saying this isn't a closed door to residents of the Keystone State, but instead a temporary goodbye. Any other time, we would love to have visitors from Pennsylvania, uh, but during this time, those who are coming in to buy liquor uh, are creating a, a health hazard. This order took effect this afternoon as DeWine was providing the state coronavirus update in his news conference. Reporting live in Steubenville for News 9 Tonight, I'm Gage Golding.